technology differences between UPSs. Um, not necessarily different manufacturers, but showing off what the difference between a traditional line interactive style UPS uh, versus what we call an online double conversion system or a true online UPS. Um, so what I've done for the demonstration is I'm bringing in utility power or dirty power or house power or power from a generator source in the building. And I'm going to run it through a variac, which allows me to modify voltage, right, and create a real basic brownout condition. And that brownout condition, at a really slow pace, fed to both UPSs through this power strip, will let us visualize to you what your switches and servers see on the output side of a power conditioning device like a line interactive UPS or a double conversion UPS, right? So we'll start off with the line interactive system. Uh, everybody can uh, typically identify with this in the IT world. We've all used them for years, right? Uh, so just a lot of people will buy these just at you know, the stores. Yeah. A lot of times that you can just you know buy a new egg or just a yeah. simple UPS. Just a, if you asked anybody on the street for a basic UPS, a lot of times you're going to come up with okay. you know an APC smart ups. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and the form factor aside, this is the same as the rack mount units. Uh, it's the same insides. Uh, okay. Same power conditioning techniques. It's sort of everybody's off the shelf default UPS, right? right? Um, so you call Bell for a server and ask for UPS, they're going to give you the line interactive system more, okay. more times than that. Yep. So uh, what we show first here is just a basic brownout condition. And what I like to do is bring the UPS down from 120 volts, which is our normal power feed here in this building, down to 110. And there's been a really subtle change. It's going to be you know a little tricky to see, but if I come back up between 110 and 120, mm -hmm. right? You can see that. You'll see a subtle change in the light bulb here, and right. this is to represent your Cisco switch or your extreme switch right. uh, or your phone system, right? right? So any critical piece of IT equipment plugged into a UPS, we'll see that power change. Right. As we start to creep down into this brownout a little further, right. you see at about 106 volts, the UPS has decided that 106 volts is probably not acceptable for your equipment right. that was designed for 120. Right. So what it does is it actually retaps, and that's when you hear that click, right? right. And the UPS retaps its transformer yep. to feed closer to 120 volt power to your equipment. Gotcha. And you saw a quick break in the light, and then it reconnected at a higher low, a higher right. brightness, right? right? So your switch and server sees that, mm -hmm. right? And it, and it causes excess wear and tear on your power supplies. Right. So when that happens, what does that do to the batteries? Um, so right now, we're in this state, we're still charging the batteries. Mm -hmm. So right now we're not depleting the batteries, so we're not causing wear on the batteries just yet. Right. Right. And we'll get to a point where we do. Okay. But right now we're actually using the power conditioning technique inside the line interactive system. Gotcha. Okay. Um, just to just make a minor correction to that voltage. Gotcha. Okay. Um, and there's one more tap on this UPS. This particular model will get us uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of 92 volts or so, mm -hmm. and give us one more tap. Mm -hmm. Right. And so we're still charging the batteries, and we can run like this indefinitely. Right. Okay. And then as we drift down a little bit further, we give our brownout condition about 80 volts, 82 okay. volts. You saw the UPS get real bright, and, or the light bulb. Okay. You can now hear it beeping. It's letting you know that it's on battery. Right? Okay. So right now we're using the stored energy in the batteries to give us approximately 120 volts to our equipment. Right. And we're going to deplete those batteries, and we're going to put another wear cycle on them, Got right? It. So okay. we're starting to discharge them, and when power comes back, we're gonna recharge them again so they're ready for the next out. So this is all just normal behavior on the UPS, right. normal operating conditions, and a really friendly slow brownout condition so we gotcha. can see it, right? Most okay. of this happens uh, you know, real quickly. Right. You're not able to actually see it. So. Okay. So in real time, a little bit further, you know, you can see right. the UPS doing its job and you can hear it, right? right. So it's a really uh, tangible change. Yep. Uh, what I want to show next is I want to show the online double conversion process okay. and what that looks like in a power conditioning scenario like this. So again, um, I've got you know a light bulb representing your, your piece of equipment, your critical right. load, uh, be it a workstation or a switch or a server, uh, represented by the ball connected to the output of the UPS. Right. And we're going to see the same power change fed to the UPS. Right? Okay. And we're going to still hear this unit click, but if you pay close attention over here, I'll slowly drift down to that 110, mm -hmm. back to 120, and see how there's just no change, right? Mm -hmm. So a little bit hard to see, but there is no change over here. Right. Continue to drift down. We've made it all the way, you know, we're at 85 volts here, right. and you haven't seen any change. So a little bit faster pace. We're right. flashing all over the place here, 
and we're not making any noise and we're not flashing over here at all. And that's because okay. this is not switching on and off of the battery or on and off and everything, right? The yeah, it's physically not re, uh, re-tapping the transformer inside the UPS. Right. Right? And then to top that off even better, the batteries inside the UPS are parallel in between our power conditioning devices. Right. So there's actually no transition to battery that's noticeable. There's no break in the sine wave, there's no break in the power. Okay. And what your equipment's going to see when it does transfer to battery is nothing. Right, so I heard that switch to battery. Yep, so you hear the battery start to discharge. Right. Okay. But again, no change at all. Right. Come back to our recovery voltage and we'll start charging your batteries again. Right. Still no change. Okay. And a real time blackout, like if you had a, threw a breaker off or had a thunderstorm, not right. power out to the, to the industrial park or wherever you're right. located, would look like this. Right. There's no change. So I'll line them back up just so you can see them together. And I'll let them both recover here. They should both come back online. Okay. And then what we'll do is, you know, a little bit faster test next to each other. Got it. And can you see how there's just no change? So each time that this is happening, these brownouts and things, I have a switch plugged in here, a switch plugged in here. This switch is power supply is taking, taking it's the having it's, to compensate it's, it's, it's having that to compensate, variation in voltage. Which just cuts down on the lifespan of a battery or a power uh, supply yeah, power or the switch in general. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. All right. And then, so how about if you tr trickle it all the way down to the... Yep. So if I drop it all the way down, all right. you see how there's a transition on the battery and then the right. light bulb got real, okay. real bright, right? So how about if you go back up to 120 and then kill the power? Right, so, so about 120. Storm goes through. And we're both back online. We both should stop beeping. I'll go ahead and drop it. Right. You, you can see how there was a brief transition, the, yeah. right? Right. Yep. So okay. for really sensitive electronics, you can actually have failure. With right. Which in our corner of the world is pretty typical that there are power events, storms, and whatnot. Absolutely. So, all right. Yeah. Well, cool. Thanks. Pretty straightforward. All Thank right. you.